11 years since the tragedy and 10 years since we've built this memorial. Uh, we'd like to welcome each one of you here tonight. Uh, if you please join me in the invocation by Mr. Dale Hank. Father in heaven, we are gathered at this remembrance ceremony, thankful to be here, thankful for the great country that we have, that we remember also. We ask you to be with the families of those that are remembering their lost loved ones that had no chance. We are thankful for the military and the police officers that help us and guide our affairs and protect us at all times. Thank you for everything we enjoy. We acknowledge thy hand in our life. And do it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Now I'd like to ask everybody to please stand for the procession.
Kay Ricks to sing the national anthem. If you'd please uh, welcome to the microphone Bill Hudnall from Walmart. Good evening, everybody. Please stay uh, standing so we can do the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All be please stay seated, please. I remember um, 10 years ago, it was about early August, I got a phone call from, from Bill Herring and he said, Bill, this is I got your name from somebody, and I don't know where he got my name, um, but this is Bill Herring from the city of Winslow, and uh, we would like for you to do something for us. And uh, I had no idea what that could be, and he said, we would like for you to go to New York, to the city, and pick up some steel beams from the Twin Towers. Uh, we have been authorized to um, to have some of those beams and at that moment I said this is this is wild this is terrific and he says can you do that uh, and get it back here by a certain date and I said yes Walmart can commit to do that for the city of Winslow so Alan Veely which is here tonight and Mike McBee which he couldn't be here those two drivers took off for New York and by the grace of God, they had no obstacles on their departure and in the city of New York and all the way back. They made it back in a, in a, in a great time to be here 
for them to be erected to the old site. And, my, and Alan and Mike, we thank you very much. Can we give them a round of applause, please? Thank you, Bill. I'm feeling a lot of emotions tonight. Um, we promised that we'd have the beams over to the new park today. It was a little touchy uh, this summer, but I'm glad that we do have them here. These are a testament of what happens when a few people decide they want something done. It wasn't a lot of people that started this, a lot of people that were involved, but it takes a couple people to just get involved and say, we want this done. But sometime in the future, to come and visit these beams, put your hand on it. They're not untouchable. These two beams are witnesses of what happened 11 years ago. They were there. They were in the midst of the fire. They saw the lives lost. I'm not saying that they're alive, but they were witnesses. It's almost a surreal feeling to be able to touch those beams and know what they went through and what we remember. And that's why we have these beams here.